Hello sax friends and welcome to your third guided music practice video. In today's lesson we are reviewing cut common time from last week and then we're going to be practicing articulations and dynamics and some other road signs and making sure we know what all of those mean. So you will be successful when you can correctly count and play in cut common time, exercise 46, I mean 64, and when you can accurately and correctly identify and play the articulations in exercise 65. Let's get started. 64, Danish roll. What key signature do we have to play in? How many sharps or flats are there? There are two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. Okay, and what about cut common time? What do you have to do to the notes when you see cut common time? You have to cut them all in half. So it has T T ta T ta T ta. Pause and practice now, seeing if you can do the fingers and the counting the whole way through the first section. So beginning till the fine. Now let's check it. It should have been D E F sharp G A F sharp A G E G F sharp F E D E F sharp G A F sharp G A E C sharp E D two. Pause and practice that again on your own, making sure that you're also thinking T T ta because then your articulation and your counting will be correct as well. Now let's see if we can play it, just the first half. One, two. Pause and practice that, making sure that you are counting and playing all of the notes exactly as you think they should be. Now do it at least 10 more times and each time try and make it a little bit faster. Now play it with me. Ready and... <laughs> We have some accents, we have pretty much the same rhythms. Ta, 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 ti, 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 ta. The notes are the same. What happens when we get to the end after that A? What note, what road sign is there on the music? D, C, L, fine. So you have to go back to the beginning once you get to the end there. Let's sing and do the fingers, ready? E, 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 F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, A, B, C sharp, D, E, 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 e F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, A, 2. Then you go back to the beginning. Pause, sing, and do the fingers again on your own. Now let's do it together, playing. Three, four. <laughs> Once you've done that, do it with me faster. One, two. Now let's do the whole song all together, beginning till the DCF fine, back to the beginning and then to the fine. Pause 
pause and practice that on your own. Making sure that you are counting all of the notes in half time, doing the dynamics, and see if you can go even faster than what we just did. So that was at 80. So if you're doing it with smart music, see if you can get over 100. Now let's look at exercise 65, Russian Sailor's Dance. In Russia's Sailor's Dance, we have accents, tenutos, and staccatos. See if you can find all three of those things. Now, can you remember what an accent does? It emphasizes the note. Good. And a tenuto? Play it for its full length smoothly. And a staccato? Short and separate. What do you do when you see DC Alfine? We go back to the beginning and we play until the fine. What does forte mean? Loud, good. And mezzo forte, medium loud, okay. Now, pause here and see if you can work out the rhythm for the first two bars. Let's check. It should be one, two, one, and, and. Or ta ta ti ta ti see if you can say the fingers and do it like that say the rhythm and do it like that ta ta ti ta ti and just play that ready and pause and practice that and again three four work out the next two bars and let's check it one two and the next two bars pause and check one two and the next two bars pause and check and now check now go back to the beginning and making sure that you're doing the accents and the two new toes, do the whole first line on your own. Now check it with me. One, two. Go back to the beginning and do up until the fine on your own. Pause here. Now do it with me. One, two. instead of forte. Sing and do the fingers. Ready? And A, G, A, E, E, F, G, E, F, E, F, D, C, D, E. Pause and practice that on your own. Now play it on your own. Pause here. Now play it with me. One, two. <laughs> many more than just one time in, a, in order to be able to play it smoothly and easily with your fingers. Don't give up after once or twice just because you think it's too hard. You might have to do it more than 20 times. Now look at the next four bars. Sing and do the fingers. D, C, D, A, A, B, C, A, B, A, G sharp, B, A, A. Play it with me. Remember, pause and practice and take as much time as you need. Did you remember the G sharps? Pause and practice that. And now look at the last four bars. Pause and practice, do the fingers. 
And again, singing your fingers, pausing here. And now with me, playing slowly. One, two. <laughs> in two bar chunks, making sure that everything is correct, dynamics and articulations. Pause here and take as much time as you need. And now play it with me from the beginning. It's going to be slow for the first time and then we're going to make it faster. today in playing all the articulations in exercise 65 and playing in cut common time in Danish roll. Give yourself a score out of 10 for both of those things. Make sure you let me know if you need some more assignments or if I went too fast in today's lesson and keep up the good work and happy practicing.